Hi folks, and welcome to another episode of Mackenzie Photo. This week I've decided to come to the Den at Ailiff. I actually used to live in a house about 50 yards that way. Obviously I'm not going to film the house because that's someone's private property now. But it's a little woodland walk in the town I used to live in, so I hope you enjoy. So, roll intro. <laughs> Okay, I'm now at the main entrance to the Woodland Walk Park. Um, I used to play here a lot as a kid. Here's the actual kids park area. It's quite large. Um, and believe it or not, there used to be a pool, like a community pool, down somewhere in all that brush. But it's all grown over now and obviously nature's decided to take it back. So we'll head into the woods and see what we can see. So. As I've just went in complete darkness, I do apologise about that. But I'm going to put up some images just now of my first steps into the Ale of Den Woods. Enjoy! Right, I've just walked into the woods a little bit and if you can see behind me, just down at the very edge of the shot, there is actually a, a sort of small stream that goes down there. And that used to build up to the pool. And you can actually see some of the remains of the pool. I'm going to see if I can fly my drone down to take um, some images. See what we can see. Enjoy. That didn't go according to plan. Um, I couldn't get all the way down to the swimming pool because the sensors wouldn't let me pass some of the trees. And then when I was flying it back, I crashed into a tree and smashed a bit of my drone. I hope it's okay. I better go and get it. Right, I found this lovely little island in the stream. It's been very dry here for the past few weeks, so that's that's why I'm able to walk on this. But I found this lovely rock behind me that I'm going to do some long exposures. Now, some of you might know what that is and some of you might not. Long exposures is when you set the camera up and basically you set it to take a long exposure, pretty much. Um, so you'll drop down the depth of field, use ND filters, Neutral density filters just darken the image. There's like a grey filter 
um, and it lets you take the longer image. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to set up. I might even do some focus stacking with the, with these rocks behind me. Uh, I'm not 100 percent sure yet, but never know. Alright, so what I've managed to do just at the stream is I've not had to worry about ND fillers. Where I am is quite shaded and because I've got one of the prime lenses on I can go down to f32 if I want, but I won't because of the prosthetic failure. So um, it just makes the image soft. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a f20 and I'm going to be taking the shots at a 16th of a second. Um, and see what we come see. I'm going to get some nice um, long exposure shots to let the water show how it's all creamy and stuff. And then I'm probably going to do. I'm going to try out the uh, focus stacking mode on the Fuji GFX100. I've never tried it out before, so hopefully we can get some nice results. Now I'm trying long exposure plus focus stacking, which might be either really good or really bad depending on how the water's flowing. Now it's just it's just a calm little stream just at the moment but there's a little bit where it can move pretty fast. Sorry about the tractor noises, um, I am in the countryside um, but hopefully we get some amazing shots. So I'm letting it do its thing and fingers crossed it all comes out the way it's meant to come out or the way I hope it comes out. Okay it's just uh, finished focus stacking there and um, I don't think it worked. I think it took about 26 images or something like that, I just set it to auto. So I have no idea how it worked. Uh, I think I'm going to actually have to read the manual to make sure I'm actually programming it properly to do the focus stacking for me. Um, focus stacking is something I've never had to worry about before. So I think I need to read a bit more up on it. But here's, here's the shot anyway and let me know what you think. Here I am again, back at the car, slightly out of breath from all that walking. Um, my foot still hurts from uh, when I hurt it the other week, but enough about that. Um, I enjoyed walking through the den today, but I remember it as a kid being much, much bigger. And as you see in the drone shots, um, it's quite a narrow stretch of woodland that doesn't go on very far, but it was interesting nonetheless, and I hope you enjoyed the shots. And if you're lucky, I might pull up the drone crash at the end. But anyway, back to the studio. So yeah, that was me walking through the den. Um, it didn't work out the way I wanted it, but nothing ever seems to work out the way I want it. Um, but like I promised, I'm going to put up the drone crash at the end of the video. I just want to say thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe or dislike, comment and subscribe. I still have the competition running until the end of June, so there's still time to get in on it. All you've got to do is a comment. You'll be entered into a draw and what the prize is is a 40 by 30 fine art print. It can be one of my prints, it can be one of your prints and I'll get it printed and get it shipped to you. If you're in the UK, I'll cover the cost of shipping. If you're out with the UK, please, you have to cover the cost of shipping. But thank you very much for watching. Before I go, I always seem to forget. Um, I've got some new apparel on my website. I'll also be putting up a print sale soon. Um, and there is still a discount going from my website. It's Mackenzie Photo 10. Um, just use that code. It's a across the whole website and you'll get 10% off. But thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again in the next video.